Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, for those of you that are new, this is Crystalini Yoga and I am Crystal. I am going to just touch on in this video um, something that I find personally for me is going to be a great way to grow myself um, in my own yogic practice and also to give you some of my insights and thoughts and creative ways of doing certain things and also why I want to do this is because it's going to allow us to slow down our practice which will build a lot of patience within ourselves it will build a lot of presence with focusing on one thing at a time and it will also transform us us in ways that are deepening ourselves into our practice with deeper knowledge and wisdom and understanding so that when you do yoga often it can almost come across as jumping from one pose to the next and especially if you're a beginner it can be very very overwhelming and it's important to really take your time with each pose each asana and understand each one and see each one in its full beauty its full wholeness understanding each part of it so that you can really 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 get the benefits of what it has to offer you so in this episode in this episode we'll be starting with a pose called balasana balasana um, and in English it's child's pose so bal means b-a-l means child and asana is pose or posture so it's child's pose um, and this pose is a very much relaxation focused pose so you'll do it in order to become very introspective to find yourself exactly where you are in that present moment and to simply stretch into various parts of your body um, it's really really powerful in that it really does work different parts of the body different depending on what variation you go to so i'm going to demonstrate quite a few different variations for you today and you can play with this pose and experience it in a way that you feel resonates with you most and where your body is at right now and this pose i would say spiritually it's a pose of real grounding um, coming into your inner child your balasana your child's pose obviously it would be coming into your inner child and almost like a reflective type of pose um, and very much about letting go and trusting as well so um, allowing yourself to trust in this present moment that no matter what you are currently faced in your life you can trust that everything is going to work out for the best and no matter how tough it is it's the challenges that were placed in your life for a very specific reason for whatever transformation or learning or growth that you need to take from it it is there and whether it's reveal being revealed right now or whether it's going to be revealed in the future that is the magic of this transformational journey is knowing and trusting that everything happens exactly how it is meant to so child's pose is very much revolved around this trust and seeing yourself exactly where you are right now and then also your childlike innocence so that innocent space you know reflecting back to when you were a child and what your interests were what traumatized you what were the good things about your childhood what were the bad things about your childhood reflecting on that and almost with that innocent beautiful pure perspective that you once had allowing yourself to take that part of you that is unconscious that's always playing in the back of your mind and affecting everything in your life you are now becoming conscious of those experiences 
classes? Like, what did you love doing as a child? And is that thing that you love doing something that you reject now? Um, is your career path different to what you loved as a child? Or is it very much aligned? Do you feel like it should be more aligned to what you loved when you were a child? Why are you rejecting it if you are rejecting it? So there's so many different questions um, and also ideas that people have placed in your mind as a child that may be very well influencing your day-to-day -day life right now. And you may not even be aware that that little voice wasn't even your pure innocent voice when you were a child and it was planted in your head by someone else that is not your pure truth, your highest truth. So coming back to that pure innocent child and allowing yourself to see exactly what it was that transformed and constructed the belief system you currently have and whether it's true or not for you or if it's just something that you have decided to embrace and go with but might need some reflection and rethinking or remapping for a new way forward and one thing you need to know is you are never ever too late or too old for a new way forward um, my brother actually just turned 50 this past week and I was like big brother you definitely um, can do whatever you want with the next 50 years of your life you can choose if you want to have 50 years of your life because you can make choices today whether it's gymming whether it's eating habits whether it's mental um, thought patterns whatever it is you can decide in every single day that you're living to say this is the day I'm going to break this habit and I want to transform and manifest this life for myself and I'm going to do everything in my power to do that for me and that is completely up to you and you know when you are ready for that we often get stuck in a specific way of living that once really served us and really did so much for us and I think it's important to acknowledge what it has done for you at a time when you needed it but if you feel in your purest inner child's truth and fullness of who you really are and you might be very afraid to admit it to yourself and it might take a lot of time I know from personal experience <laughs> so yeah I think it's just important to go very gently very patiently as I always mention um, it's vulnerable it's very delicate and it's definitely okay to not be okay in this journey as well so with that being said that is Balasana the child's pose and there are quite a few different variations we can do to play with this pose if you struggle to get on your knees there's variations to help it be easier for your knees and just focusing on one pose really allows us to bring presence um, to ourselves and specifically if you are looking for something just to relax you um, sometimes less is more so allow yourself these next few moments to just fully immerse into your child's pose allow me to guide you through each of the different variations and then find the best variation that serves you allow yourself to be in that variation for a space or change from one to the other whatever your body is telling you and i would like to guide you on some reflective questions that you can think about while you're in that pose as well that can really just allow you to tap into that inner child into your balasana <laughs> So I hope this uh, introduction has giving, given you a little bit of an insight into this asana. I'm going to now move on to explaining how to do this posture with you. So let us begin by starting our balasana, our child's pose exploration um, by coming onto all fours and then allow your tops of your feet to stay grounded on the mat so keep your toes untucked uh, with your knees hip distance apart so your big toes will be touching you can do a wider child's pose if that is comfortable as well so moving both your knees out wider apart or you can bring them closer together wherever your body feels uh, natural and where it feels like it's 
stretching the part that needs stretching for you today. Lower your forehead towards the floor or you can stack your fists or forearms. If you can, bring your forehead onto the ground. You can either reach your arms forward all the way to the front of the mat. Or you can bring your arms on either side of your body and just allow them to rest gently near your bent knees. Relax completely in this pose. Release any tension from your face, your jaw. Any tension around your eyebrow center, your forehead. And allow your neck to relax. In this pose, your focus is to let go of any tension that you may be carrying with you and just allow yourself to completely receive the support of the floor, the complete support of your body, holding yourself on the floor, grounding you into this beautiful Mother Earth that is embracing you as the child. With some additional variations, you can gently begin to rock your body from side to side, just playing with it, removing any tension in your torso. Just remaining now in a nice still position. With each movement we do, just remember to keep awareness with your breath as well. So inhaling in through the nose and exhaling out through the nose. Make sure that your inhale is a long inhale matching your long exhale. Trying to keep both the inhale and the exhale balanced. Now with your arms outstretched to the front, you can use your fingertips and just move your hands and your fingertips over to the left hand side and allow yourself to sink into the pose on your left hand side, creating a deep stretch on the right hand side body now. Gently come back to center and then move yourself over to the right hand side with your fingertips and hands grounding into the mat, creating a nice deep stretch on your left hand side. Breathe into your side body as you completely relax into this pose. You can gently come back to center now. If at any point you are feeling like your knees are getting sore or your ankles are getting sore, you can bring a rolled up towel or a blanket and just position it either underneath your shins or your ankles or your knees or you can position it in between your calves and your buttocks so you can place the cushion there or the towel there just for extra comfort or if you have a pillow or a bolster you can bring it right in front of your body and allow your whole chest and heart to melt over this pillow or bolster and just completely relax Allow all the stress to release with these props. Mm -hmm. 
choosing now whatever variation serves you best, whichever one you would like to decide to do for a longer moment of introspection. This child's pose is where we can let go of all the stress and simply just be. Perhaps that is why it is called child's pose after all as the innocence of childhood is graced with a feeling of ease. In fact, many say that children are closer to divinity because they have not yet forgotten where they truly come from. And it is up to all of us to recall and regain that memory that is stored within each and every one of us of our highest and purest truth. This balasana is rarely used to slow down and relax your parasympathetic nervous system and really just stretching and relaxing deeply depending on the variation you use. It is a great pose to stretch several parts of the body such as your back muscles, around your hips, around your shoulders or your traps if your hands are forward and grounded into the mat. As well as this pose really gently lengthens your spine, which is a great pose in many aspects if you are sitting at a desk for a long period of time or in a car. It is also great for your hip flexors, thighs, glutes, even your ankles and your chest. If your ankles are getting sore placed down, you can tuck your toes under and create a bit of a deeper and counter stretch of your calf muscles. This pose is really and truly here to honor and acknowledge your inner child. If at any point of this asana, this balasana, you feel too much tension in your hips or you're holding it for too long, you can gently come out of the pose, straightening into your spine and slowly coming onto your back. And bring your knees into your chest, hugging your knees for a moment. Just relieving any tension from balasana after holding it for an extended period of time. And you can bring both your legs straight up to the sky before you come into your happy baby pose where you bring both your knees out to either side of your body and keeping your feet facing up towards the sky your legs are at a 90 degree angle And you can gently hold onto either your big toes or the outsides of your feet as you gently pull your feet and your knees closer to the ground. Allow your feet to touch and just relax without having such a deep stretch for a moment. And just allow your body to experience and explore whatever movement it needs. Your inner child represents your true self, embodying your natural curiosity, creativity, and emotional vulnerability before the influences of society and conditioning come along. Your inner child shapes your beliefs about yourself and others throughout your life. 
child's pose is really connecting you to your root chakra that grounding element that element of safety and security and it's also connecting you to your sacral chakra as you are opening your hips and really focusing on releasing any stored emotions and lastly it also is awakening the third eye chakra as you come into your intuition and your thoughts and once you are on your back you can straighten your legs up straight to the sky this pose using your hands as support to slowly lift your spine up vertebra by vertebra until you come back into your all fours you can bring both your legs to the front you can just shake them out for a few moments releasing any tension as you are in balasana for an extended period of time we are just going to counter stretch it now with just a gentle forward bend head to knee forward bend so allow yourself to bring both your hands up to the sky and just gently melt yourself over your torso keeping your spine straight gazing up as you either hold on to your knees your ankles or your toes you can relax into your neck just avoid rounding your spine keeping it nice and straight shoulders relaxed away from your ears and just give yourself a moment to just come back into your body again with a few deep breaths And just remind yourself that you are exactly where you need to be. You are perfect in all your imperfections and everything is there for a reason. Every person, every experience, every realization. everything is directing us and is our manifestation of the future that we want so allow yourself to be completely aware of your thoughts feelings and actions in every moment as that is the guide that your divine listens to as to where you are going next that's why positive thinking along with feeling that truth within yourself is the greatest prayer of all thank you so much for being with me today as we journeyed through this balasana this child's pose i hope you feel excited to experience more of your inner child and if you do want to continue this child's pose practice you can pick something that you used to love to do as a child and do it within this week, whether it's a game you used to play or something you used to love doing, swimming or playing catches, <laughs> whatever it is, just allow yourself to experience that and honor that part of you. I send you so much love and light and I look forward to bringing you another asana, another yoga pose for us to explore together. Have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.